That's close enough. Who are you? Oh, it's you. I'm so glad you're here. Look, I don't know how much time we have left. I need you to go in after him and bring him back to me alive. Or a warning. I made the mistake of opening that door. I thought I could help them if I found the right one, but whatever I did, it took me right back to that lake house. Seven years ago, I discovered this wondrous city, uninhabited. Others soon followed, heeding my invitation, and our community grew and prospered under my rule. But as I write this, I am alone once again, for my subjects have been the victims of an unspeakable atrocity. This is why, at the expense of my own life, I must open a portal that will take you into the past before all this began. Beloved reader, you must go back, investigate what set this atrocity in motion, and prevent it by any means necessary. I see you're a little bit crazy. Well, you're in good company here, my friend. Lots of us weren't thinking straight when we arrived. It's the first day of last seed, I believe. I guess you hit your head pretty hard coming down the shaft, huh? It's the 194th year of the Fourth Era, of course. Look, you seem a little... You know. So I'll make this nice and simple. Don't hurt anyone. Don't steal anything. Same as... The Jarl can tell you more. And help you get settled in. Might even have some quarters for you. I can take you to him. Follow me. So this is our farmland where we grow all the food you'll ever want. As long as all you ever want is leek, cabbage and potato. If you have goods... The merchants at the market up ahead will be happy to see you. Most of us have few belongings, just what we brought in with us. Morning, Gulvar. Morning, Nismar. Above us is the sun under the ground. It's strange and no substitute for the real sun, of course, but these days it doesn't bother me. What bothers me is the Citadel folk. Take Jormund, for example, standing up there on his balcony looking down on us. Just look at him. Yeah, you're a really big man, aren't you? <laughs> Milk drinker. Aren't you going to introduce me to your strapping new friend, Galvar? We're on our way to see the yard. There'll be time for you to get your claws into our friend here later. I look forward to it. You should come for a drink at my tavern, the Golden Sentinel, tonight. Just about everyone's there. Be careful with Rastasia. She... Well... 
It's not my place to say. There's enough gossip in this place as it is. It's a small city after all. Only 24 of us at the moment. 23 if you don't come around us. Who's halfway to the next life. Luke is barely managing to keep him alive. This is the Citadel, where the Jarl and his guests live. If you manage to worm your way in with them, you might get to live here too. Gulver, what do you think you're doing? You're meant to be working the Jarl's farm, not trudging dirt into his Citadel. Hjalman, take it easy, would you? I was just showing our new friend here to the Jarl. Well, how about you get back to work, and I take our new friend the rest of the way? If you don't work, none of us eat, Gulver. Remember that. How could I forget? Fine, I'll get back to work. It was nice meeting you, my friend. So stop by for a chat any time you like. I'm sorry about that. That probably sounded a bit harsh, but it's my job to make sure we all have enough to eat. I'm Jormund. Let's head up to the next floor then, shall we? Stay close behind me. Wouldn't want you getting lost now, would we? Oh, welcome. I'm Gaia. Do you come and say hello when you're here? Always oh, got her nose buried in a book, that one. Helps out brawl down in the city. Our resident expert about the history and laws of the Dwemer. Last I heard, they were trying to track down some dwarven artifacts. Should ask Brawl about it, if you're into that sort of thing. This is the Citadel kitchen. Remember to be polite to our cooker Sanchi. She does the best with what she has, which isn't much. Now let's head up to the Yarls. You really should go and see the Yarl before we talk. There's a face I don't recognize. Welcome to my city. I'm Jarl Metella. It's always exciting to meet a new member of our small community. Now, before I forget, since you're here for good, you'll need some quarters. Here's a key to the last vacant chambers down in the city, between Brawl and Luki. It's all yours. Now tell me, what brings you to... I sent you here. I... I'm not sure what you... Well, let's see. This is my handwriting. The victims of an unspeakable atrocity. This... this is real, isn't it? I've even toyed with the idea of creating a portal between two... But that's odd. My letter makes no mention of what caused the disaster. I suppose I was in a hurry. So tell me, what's going to happen to us? That's exactly what I saw when I first discovered this place, several years ago. It seems whatever happened then is going to happen again. I think it has something to do with the Dwarves' law. This is bad. This is very... Yes, you see, the Dwarves who built this place left inscriptions. Brawl hasn't been able to fully translate them, but we understand some parts. This warning keeps coming up. The many shall suffer for the sins of the one. We think that breaking the law here will... The truth is, I've used the Dwarves' law to frighten my people into obedience. Let me think. You've helped me a great deal by bringing this note to my attention. I wonder, I need you to investigate the city, talk to my people, help them, if it'll win their trust. You must work out who is going to break the Dwarves' law. Once you have a name, as Jarl, I authorize you to go anywhere you need to go, including private homes. But if someone asks you to leave, you should do so immediately. I can't promise either of those things, but I will certainly do everything within my... And of course, if you decide to stay, I would make... Now what do you say? Will you help me? Thank you. Now, you mustn't tell anybody where you're from, or what may be about to happen here. 
If it helps you, you're welcome to borrow the book on my desk. It contains the names and a... Goodbye for now, and good luck. I don't need to tell you what will happen if you fail. Well, as you know, the Jarl is my father. Or, at least, that's what he tells people. Now that you mentioned it, I do. I need you to get something for me, and it won't be easy. I've tried everything I can think of. There's a big Nord living down in the city called Rikus. You may have seen him walking around in an immaculate example of the I need that arm. Fluttery. The only thing I haven't tried is violence. Not here. He can hear us. What is it? I'm sorry, what's my story? What an oblivion is your story? How dare you come in here like you own the place and expect me to explain myself? I beg your pardon, did you just threaten to hurt me? Is that supposed to cut a single hair on my beard? Cast a single spell? You might have been somebody important in your old life, but down here, you're no one. Here, I own you, and there's nothing you can do about it. You wouldn't dare. Now get out of here before you embarrass yourself. Get away from me, peasant. I don't want anyone seeing us together.